Yeah, you can connect to yes. This question is directed to, the, uh, to both sides. <clears throat> the morality of the ultimate socialist system may be seen in facts. One fact may be seen in the Robarts Library, where now is displayed the artificial famine of 1932 and 33. Could you, could you get a little closer to the microphone and talk a little louder? Please? Okay. One of these facts, it's displayed in the Robarts Library, where now is displayed the artificial famine of 1932 and 33 in Ukraine, where 7 million people died. This genocide is the, was a deliberate public and political policy of the communist government in Moscow. It was a policy to remove those who did not, by their lifestyle, agree with their own policy. It was also a policy that removed food from the farmer and was used in, in international trade to acquire money to enhance Moscow the protector of ultimate socialism. How is this consistent, this genocide consistent with morality? Is this the morality which we are to expect from future socialism and its ultimate heir, communism? I guess this is a highly mobile audience because I guess most of you weren't in the room when I talked about our socialist view of communism earlier. I could talk to you about the Kulak murders for hours and tell you things you know nothing about. I can tell you about the horrors of the communist empire for hours, things you know nothing about. A democratic socialist is raised on it, is raised on it so that he or she knows not to have a confusion between a tyranny of a new kind in the Eastern world and something that's called socialism. It has nothing to do with anything any democratic socialist believes, tolerates, or will ever accept. Uh, I would like to start by saying that I would not and I will not now accuse any individual unless I had hard evidence of being an advocate or a supporter of that kind of mass slaughter. And I don't wish to, in my remarks to say that I think that uh, our opponents are in fact endorsing that kind of thing. However, but your question is, is this kind of genocide consistent with the morality of socialism? Is this the ultimate end of socialism? In my view, even though the democratic socialists believe that the uses to which the coercive powers of the state will be put will be limited by the majority and that they will not vote for the state to do such things. They are nevertheless endorsing the morality of altruism, of self-sacrifice, and they are endorsing coerced solutions to problems and in endorsing those principles, even though they may not wish it to be the case and they may not believe it to be the case, that they are nevertheless in the camp with principles that do lead to those results, I'm afraid.